right, guys. This one, this is a huge one. And this is one of those games that... It's a huge game that gets easily overlooked because it's an indie company. Um, this is called Aaron's Adventure. Now, $30 game, overwhelmingly positive reviews. Um, I don't even know how to explain it. It's an RPG. I would say it kind of plays like a pixelated Assassin's Creed, like the newer Assassin's Creed. So it's a third-person RPG. It, unbelievable reviews, tons of fun from what I've heard. So we're just going to send it. Have some fun with it, you know? See how it is. See what the hype's about. I like how off the volumes are here. Okay, off to a strong start. So I'm just gonna sum this up for you once it's done. Wow, okay, that's actually somewhat of an interesting story. Sorry, I, uh, again, the audio is super messed up. Okay, well, uh, hold on, can, can I pause? Let me quickly explain the story to you guys because it's actually a solid story. All right, so these meteors come down, essentially, that they call the eye. The eye gives people powers right if you're if you go near it, it like shocks you you get powers right so a bunch of people got these powers and they fought off like the monsters of the world which are just like your usual like dwarves demons whatever right they become the council right and the council helps all the humans that weren't uh taken uh didn't get the power of the eye then one of the council members turns on them right and basically all the old council members who have the powers are frozen in time. They sacrifice themselves to stop that council member from killing all the rest of the humans. So years go by because they saved the human race. And now we're the boy. I mean, we don't know it yet in the story, but we're the boy that uh, brings. I, I'm like the newest member of the eye. You know, who gets powers from the eye. But again, we're not there yet. But this is cool. Sneak up on Faja. Oh, dad's so fucked. Look at him. Look at him looking there all stupid and shit. There he is. Wow, great job, of course. Now, South the approach. Like Your mother and I Thank you. Thanks, Dad. I love it. I'm a good son. Uh-huh. It's beautiful. Thank you, Mom. Glad to hear it. Ma, you know I'm one of the best. Have you seen me play Warzone, Ma? Chapter one, okay. Eight years later. <sighs> I'm, a I'm a big kid now. The Sentinels are returning. Right, sure the Sentinels are like the council people, I believe. All right, Dad's like, yo, you go get the powers. Where's my horse? Ho, ho, ho. I will name you Tripod. Man, the buttons for this are very, very awkward. I won't lie to you. Uh, it's not made for... <laughs> It's not made for mouse and keyboard, but it's also not made for controller, apparently. So that makes me a little angry. So what powers do I have? Give me some good powers. Oh, shit. Is that a dragon at our house? Holy. Daddy, no. Daddy, no. Remember, we protect those that can't protect themselves. <laughs> we love you, son. Love you too, mom. Is that it? <laughs> that is so anticlimactic. And all of a sudden, I have superpowers, so we'll take it. Where do I start? I think I'll have to give you a crash of course, on your abilities. Okay. There's a cave nearby that will, there's okay, so she's going to teach us the abilities. I won't lie to you. The storytelling is so bad, I can't. Like, it's a cool concept. The storytelling is just so garbage. So now all the side missions are coming in. Potato, potato, challenge board, optional, new horse. There's someone that sells horses. Ah, uh, do I have the money? Do I have the money? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is actually a huge map, considering. I guess it's not that big, actually. I lied. But, you know. You know how it is. You know what it is. Want to buy a horse? Walk up to one. Okay. The white stallion. 18 gold. Damn it. It's too expensive. Okay. Can. can okay. How do I? How, uh, can I? Oh. Oh, that makes me mad. Oh, I still have my old, I still have tripod. Okay. Tripod and I can do this. I don't even know what level these guys are, but I am slamming them. You're not even on my level. You're not even close. I'm getting materials like crazy. Level one materials, cloth, gold. I'm going to be able to buy that white horse maybe in the next 15 minutes. Once I figure out a way up there. Oh my God, it's over. 
Because remember, you can't you can't jump. They have a it's only a roll. Okay, so jump, J jump. I I don't understand, dude. Just let me fucking jump. Give me a power. I can tell this gives me a power. Learning abilities. <laughs> this is where the game begins. Oh, okay. So this is my my teleport arrow. Yeah, it's su it's such a cool idea, but the game's just not where I expected it to be for this. I mean, the controls really kill this for me. I won't lie to you. What is this? The fuck do you mean I'll get better over time? I'm one of the best. Now I do like puzzles, as you guys know. Easy. Ooh! And I got a skill point. Now, skill tree. Now, that just put this game from like a five to a six for me. Serpentine. I'm too fast for your arrow. And just like that. Too easy. Base liberated. And I got a new sword and shield, which is nice. Let's try it. Boom. That's what I like to see, boys. More importantly, how much money do I have? Because you know your boy is buying that white horse at some point. Oh, ow. Did I just take... <laughs> that's, how, that's how I would ride a horse. Let's go to the camp. How much? I, I want to see how much money I have. 151. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, my. And perfect timing because I just drowned my horse. <laughs> Let's get Mr. Nene here. Purchase for 100. Yeah. We got the white horse. The stallion, dude. God, look at her. I don't know what to name you. Dinkleberry. Prince Dingleberry. Oh, it's a, it's a town. Oh, this is my town. This is my town that got leveled. This is this was my original home. Is this gonna replay? Oh, Ma and Dad. Helios, she didn't make it. The doctor asked me if I could take it home. It's a boy. We'll look after him until his father returns. His father died last week in that raid. There's no other family. I was adopted? You should raise him. What? <laughs> yep, that's about right. Ooh. A little hidden something something? Yeah, yeah. More health potions. We're at 52. <laughs> Again, I'm basically unkillable. What's over here? Is there anything over here? Why would you put this here? There was nothing there. Bastards. Trying to trick me. Oh, I just realized I'm dying. Psych! If you think I'm gonna die to these idiots, you're you're sadly mistaken. They're all dead. They're all undead. Oh. Oh, I fucked up a chicken. I feel bad. Oh, okay. Now you guys are pissing me off. Thank you. Oh, that was an explosive arrow. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. I like this sword so much. Oh, wait, who are you? You're not like them. Oh, you're a boss, aren't you? Okay, come on. Unfortunately for you, I know how to dodge. So I think he was one of the sentinels. Base liberated. Sharpened basic heavy sword. My god. How is that in comparison to what I have? It's probably a little stronger, right? What? It sucks. Time to get our third base liberated. Come on, bitches. Ooh, and it looks like we have another sent. It's this. Yep, sentio. Shit, that's not good. That is not good at all. Now it's a one on one, bitch. It's a one on one. I'm already getting leveled. Bitch. 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 Easy. 
<laughs> yeah! Liberated. I'm so proud of myself. We're just liberating base after base after base after base after base. I'm just, a, honestly, I'm unstoppable. Pick a video game. I'm just unstoppable. Man, we only have two more missions to do, which is impressive. I'm, I'm proud of myself. I, oh, dude, I like the seamless fast travel. And the only, re the only reason it's seamless is because the game is so low budget, there's nothing to load. <laughs> Aaron, what are you doing here? I'm here to help. It's, right, man. We got this. it's a long story, but it might be the last Sentinel. I think it's happening. Yeah. We ran back here, so we could It's been quiet for a few hours. I'm afraid that we won't be able We will. But there's okay. something else you should know. The creature amongst the enemy, it floats around. Easy. Let's take down our enemy. Easy. Come on. Where is he? Oh, fuck. Guys, help. Help. You know what? I don't even need you. You guys just sit there. I got it. My allies aren't even helping. They literally, they're just sitting back there. Look at them. Fucking, fuck it. You guys gotta do something? I know I'm a one-man fucking apocalypse, but dear God. Okay, now I'm getting beat up. I'm getting beat up. I, I'm getting in close. I'm just beating the shit out of her. Beat her up. Yeah. Ow. That's it? I'm ready. Okay, cool. So I guess that was... Okay, obviously that wasn't the whole game, but we finished the first map. Which is cool, I believe. So we're retaking the fortress. What fortress is this? Where am I? Oh, this fortress down low. Okay. You know what? Let's retake a fortress. We'll help retake a fortress. It's an it's a sentinel. And it seems like he's a strong sentinel. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm getting beat up. I'm getting beat up. Stop yelling, damn it! My bow's sick! I don't like that. Jeez! He's just slamma jamming me. I need you to die, please. Hey, thank you. Retake the fortress. Perfect. Now, where am I? New home. So, it's a whole new map. Cool. So, guys, that is the first two hours of the game. Now. I'm going to give you my most honest opinion of this game. And here's the thing. it Great concepts. I love the concepts. In fact, some of the concepts are better than some AAA games. Like, I love all the abilities. I love everything about it. Quest line, like, super simple, but also fun. The only problem is the game itself, like combat, uh, everything that makes the game a game, <laughs> is like a 5 out of 10. It's literally a lower budget Assassin's Creed. You know, that's the way I kind of see this. And that's not a bad thing, especially since it's half the price of something like Assassin's Creed. So I don't know how long the game is. I'm glad it's longer than what we saw. But let's let's say you, let's say it's three worlds, right? You spend $10 on each world. I guess it is a fair price when you look at it that way. Um, yeah, I mean, I, it's not a bad game by any means. It's a little expensive, I would say. It's a fair price, but expensive, you know what I mean? So, as always, I'll leave a link in the description down below for those of you that do want to try it out, as well as social media, promo codes, stream links. And, yeah, hopefully you guys still enjoyed this video. Hopefully you try out the game, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So, peace, peace.